All right. Hello, everyone. Today, we've got the MK11 RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. I did notice the typo there. Um, in the box is just the keyboard and there's an instruction manual which, uh, gives, which details the colour patterns and things but I'll, I'll go, I've already read that, I'll go through that. Let me just, just turn on my laptop quickly. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Look at that startup pattern. Now, if I just quickly, hang on. Needs my face to log in, I think. And I can override this. Come on, come on. There we go. I'm going to, let me open Notepad. And we can just, So these are, I believe, Ducky, not Ducky, sorry, um, they're mechanical blue switches, so they have the, there's a half click, so you'll notice they're, they're the clicky switches. Uh, these are amazing to type on. These are probably my favorite switches to type on. I would usually go browns if I'm, if I'm gaming, but however, in, for typing, this is great, so you'll notice there's a click, and then it bottoms out. But you don't need to bottom out to type on these. Now, what's cool is the ooh, is the different modes. So I've got this dial at the top left here, and I can change the brightness a little bit. It's much more. It's, ooh. So these are the different patterns that it's got. And so what what's cool here? If I choose this now, I can change the color. Pattern stays. Play with the brightness a little bit. And I can change it again. Change it again, change it again, change it again. Cool. Now actually what, what's a neat feature of this is uh, if I press the function button and delete, I'm in gaming mode. And so now it highlights WASD, QER, FG. This basically this side of the board. If you're familiar, you can buy half keyboards, which only have keys on this side. You have your macro keys. And if I go FN, delete again, secondary gaming mode, third and fourth. You've got, you've noticed the four up here, they change color. And that helps you keep in mind which mode you've got. Now, what I can do as well, so this is my home one. I've just got WASD. And a cool feature here, uh, you won't be able to see it, but if you press press F, N, and W, this stops being W, A, S, D. This is now actually just up, down, left, right. And up, down, left, right, I switch positions. And up, down, left, right becomes W, A, S, D. I'm just gonna switch back. And then if I hit, I'm gonna just see, choose the second one. And now if I hit home, the escape key starts, no, this, till the key starts flashing, those lights starts flashing. What I can do now, I can actually reprogram this. So whatever color I want. And then I can change colors again. Change colors again. Oops. There you go. And so now if I press the delete button, oh, if I cycle back to that mode, oh, I didn't do it properly. I press, I press it to press home. So let's try this again. I'm gonna light these up quickly, light these up quickly, and these ones too. If I press home, there we go. So now I have this mode set up for me. And if I wanna go back to normal colors or normal mode, click, there we go. Oh, I love this. Oh, let's go back to that. Yeah. RGB, definitely the best ones. Um, 
In terms of keycaps, these are all single height keycaps. You'll notice that they're quite flat, just same as like a, I've got my laptop up there. It's, a, it's same, same as typing on a small laptop keyboard. The, the whole profile is all the same. You'll notice on other keyboards, I'll grab my, I've got my 85% keyboard, like any other keyboard. You've got the side profile, so you've got row, one, two, three, and four. Three different heights and three different curvatures. I much prefer that. If you're used to typing on laptops, then this is probably gonna be ideal for you. I am, however, I've got a spare keyboard. I am gonna switch these keys around because I've also got some custom keycaps that would be perfect for this RGB setting. Um, I'm gonna swap those over. Actually, I'll give them. So I've got another keyboard like this. I've got some custom blank keycaps that would, it's gonna look great with that RGB setting. And we'll see how we go. But other than that, the construction of this is quite nice. It's aluminium top. The bottom is plastic, which is good. Oh, a neat feature too is there is a switch at the bottom here. And for whatever reason, uh, I would only need this if maybe if I was, uh, if I was gaming it at a LAN especially. What you can do is if you switch off the colors and it's much more difficult for someone to see what you're typing it's, it's usually uh, an anti-ghosting mode but you can turn it back on nice and easy of course with the keycaps i'm about to put on ghosting is not an issue because they can see what my keys are because it's just blank anyways that was a quick run through of that